This is a cute, relaxing, fish collecting game, so we're gonna do our best to try harder today and ruin it entirely. We've got $25, so we get five packs of freshwater friends. So we can set these out, and one of them is even an epic that takes two days to spawn. Or maybe to grow up all the way. Whatever the case, we now have a lot of fish. They grow up in real time, but they grow much faster if you feed them. We're gonna force feed these morons. So far, we only have one epic. And to feed the fish, we right click, so we can just click away and watch them all eat. They gain experience, they get bigger. And it does seem like I have an unlimited food, so we could just identify the right fish and feed it endlessly. If I just rapid fire the food down in a single spot, all the fish will bring themselves to me. And we've somehow discovered a neon tetra by force feeding our fish. Oh, they grew up, that's why. It said adult fish earn money over time. We could sell these for $2.50, or we could get $0.02 cents per day. We're not going to sell them yet, we're not going to be that crazy, but we did get $5. We can buy bigger tanks, but they cost up to like $500 billion, and decorations like trees. And we got a goldfish, so that's that obviously grew up. That gets two cents per day, also worth two dollars and fifty cents. So in essence, we're really just investing in fish. We pay five dollars, we get a bunch, we force feed them food, they blow up into big fish, we sell them for profit and buy more expensive fish seeds. We also have a blue grass guppy. That gives me five cents per day, two dollars and fifty one cents. It's actually pretty big. Well as hard as we've tried, we haven't got the frame rate to drop below 240 FPS yet, but we did get a Cory Dory. That will give me seven cents per day. It's worth two dollars and fifty cents to sell. But since I do have five dollars, I am gonna buy another uh, basic fish set because we do have a few of these that are going to grow up pretty quickly and we can sell that for $2.50 so in 15 minutes we get half our money back. Uh, that's actually going to go a lot quicker if we feed them. Maybe we should actually sell all the grown-up fish currently. That's worth $2.50. It's only worth two cents a day so we don't need to keep it. Uh, we can actually make an easy few dollars doing this. Even the Corydori's got to go. But then we can afford more fish. We got a rare one coming up. These ones are all going to take a few minutes to get and we got a gold in common. That only takes an hour. Only an hour. I'm going to be sitting you're feeding these morons for an hour. We have a snail on the bottom. I need to remember to get some food down to that guy. It's working. We already have a painted goldfish done. So that's a rare variety of the goldfish. That's worth $5. So we can go ahead and sell that. We made our money back with one single fish. I can also target specific fish too. Ones that I know are going to be a little bit hard to grow up and not too bad because we'll get the most money for those. Like if I force feed this little blue one a lot, it actually grows up pretty quickly. Akara. $2.54. Get out of my aquarium. We can also focus on the snail. It gets five experience per food and we only need 14,400. While I was force feeding my snail, this thing grew up. Clown loach, $2.51, get out. There's only one fish for me in this tank right now. And it's not technically even a fish. And this one also grew up. That only took 1,800 experience, $2.50. It's currently a mystery what it's called, but then it gives me the option to actually name it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and help the game out with that. Then we just hope that the prophecy is true. We got a better fish also, $2.57. We can also sell that, $0.26 cents a day, not good enough for me. We also had a bala shark grow up. It would earn $0.21 cents a day, but we can sell it now for $2.55. So it would take well over 10 days just to make its money. I've got a lot of time on my hands, but I don't have that much time on my hands. This poor snail is just trying to be force fed and all these other fish want to take that from him. But just like that, this snail is done. A ramshorn snail. That's a rare. We'd earn 65 cents a day, which is actually pretty good. But we can also sell it now for almost $4. So it's been nice knowing you. Uh, this common golden, we haven't had one of these yet. And it will actually grow up really quickly. We just got to make sure the cursor stays on it. It's quicker than that snail. But what he lacked in speed, he made up for in intelligence. We also have a painted palace shark that should be even more valuable than the last one. $5.11. The Golden Sword Tail. Earning $1.05 a day, that's actually really, really good. It sells for $25. Why do I get more of these? Also, where did I get this one? It must have grown up while I wasn't looking. This is good though. We're starting to identify the fish that are easy to grow and make me lots of money. I think normally you're just supposed to log in like once a day and feed your fish. Maybe buy some new ones and wait for 24 hours, maybe a week. We don't have time for that. Also, just getting a lot of fish uh, growing up in the background. Hard to even notice them. $2.55. And another one just popped up. Those must have been the 15 or 30 minute fish from earlier that we bought. But we have $62 already. Then we also got a wigtail platy. That's a beautiful orange fish. $2.50. We'll give me 10 cents a day. We don't want 10 cents a day. Then our dwarf gomi also grew up. Not sure what that's worth, but it looks fancy. $2.58, 32 cents a day. So if we kept all the fish so far, we'd make like $5 a day so far. I realized that we're just going through a lot of time sitting here feeding these, and I've got $69, so I might as well spend that all on new fish. Seeing as the next bundle is $1,000 anyway, so let's get all the fish going. That way they could be sitting in the background, just growing up naturally. And we got some epics. Those are going to be new. We got some common ones. We got all sorts of different things going. Also a new epic there. 
Some of these might actually be quick to grow, some of them might not be. There's a painted common that's only going to take 15 minutes, but there's also a lot of things I painted berries that are supposed to take a day. Now it's going to be hard to feed individual fish again because there's going to be a giant swarm and I'm going to lose track of the one I'm actually trying to feed. The best part of this is my fish tank is full. I've created a macro to just feed the fish at rapid speed so I can just come back in 15 or 30 minutes and seal our giant fish. We've already discovered, uh, well actually a lot of those got big quickly. We're getting good at this. That one's $5, this one's $2.50, this one's $5. And I also see big stacks of experience, so I don't know if the fish are like multi-eating multi-pieces of food. I don't really know. I'll be back in a while. We're getting so many big fish already. I've discovered a small flaw in my plan. We have a lot of big fish, but as soon as we discover a new one, this thing gets in the way of the feeding. Isn't that awesome? So what I need to do is use two auto clickers right here. That way we can feed the fish and click through new discoveries. But because our tank is almost full, we should start to sell some of these $2.50 for these guys. 250 for those, 250 for those, 250. I'm seeing a pattern. This one's five dollars because it's uh, painted. So the painted versions go for five dollars instead of 250, so they're double value. And our super rare epic is still a long ways away from growing up. So we'll go back to the feeding and spamming until something amazing happens. We already had one of these blow up and give us another two dollars and fifty four cents, and I probably should buy another 20 fish. Our tank will still be full and we have fifty five dollars left over anyway. And we got a new epic that only takes one day to grow. It looks like a flounder. After doing this for a minute, the fish do a really strange pattern. They get locked in a circle, then they explode all over the map, and then they go back to this chaos. So they do still get fed. And when the fish get really chaotic, the frame rate does actually drop. We got it down to about 30 frames per second for a moment. I think it's because we're spamming so much food out there that the fish can't actually eat it fast enough, so when they all go for it, there's just a lot of things to compute. Okay, the, the full-grown ones are starting to eat too much of the food, so we're gonna sell them. They don't deserve food anymore. Once they can be sold for profit, they've done their use. That means I buy another two fish and the tank capacity is going to be about full again. Turns out this is a good strategy because it almost works too fast. We routinely have to stop and sell the adult fish. But if we check in the status of them, yeah, the epics still have a long ways to go. Even some of these rares, it's going to be a minute. A few more rounds of fish exploitation and we have over $100. And that I'm really happy about because now we can get a freshwater tank for $100. So now we can fit 80 fish in our tank and look how many we still have to find, including yellow tier. So for now, it's back to upgrade fish. We definitely had a strange one, a painted Akara pop out. I was hoping there would be more than five dollars. A few minutes later we have all sorts of beautiful fish that have grown up. This one's worth four dollars, a Hillstream loach. We also have a chili raspberry and I saw something a little bit more valuable. That one's worth five twenty nine. And some of our epics are definitely getting closer but they have a little ways to go. But considering I just spent a very expensive hundred dollars upgrade in the tank we're already back to 72. So to fill the tank we need to buy this many fish. One of which is a yellow tiered legendary. That'll take at least three days to grow so we'll see when we see it. For now I'm going back to my winning strategy of doing not much of anything. But at this rate it really doesn't take long to start getting some adult fish so we can start turning a profit very quick. I'm not really sure what a blue grass guppy is but we got one and we sold it five dollars. It's been a few long hours and look at all the big fish we have. Even one of our legendaries has sprouted it's gonna give me forty two dollars every day so we might not sell that one. Considering it's only fourteen dollars to sell we're gonna sell some of the cheaper ones. Things like the snails they can go 65 cents a day not good enough. For now I'm gonna filter by if it's less than one dollar per day it's gotta go. This epic glass fish is worth forty three dollars every day that's actually gonna add up considering how many different fish we have. Okay so after trimming what I hope are all the un valuable ones I'm only left with the more valuable ones and that's what you see before you. There's only one little one that didn't grow up overnight it probably just couldn't get the food. It is a legendary but it'll get there. It does take half a million xp to pop. But what I'm gonna do now is spend another $200 on an even bigger tank and then buy more $5 fish packs and then we can just open all of these up in a big row and see what we get. I did get one epic uh, elephant fish. It's one of these so it will earn me $16 a day once it's grown up. But now the tank capacity is full. It's fuller than it's ever been at 100 fish so we'll do the same thing and check on them in a while. A few short hours later look at all of our fish. They're all grown up and we're starting to actually make some money now. We're making about one cent per second and that just ticks along endlessly. But not only that, there's one fish that hasn't grown up, that's a painted legendary. It is so close to its 500,000 experience. So I'm gonna do my best to force feed it every chance I get because all the other fish are gonna swoop in and get in the way. Speaking of which, I'm gonna sell some of the more useless ones that aren't really earning me any money anyway. That way they're just out of the way entirely. Doing that, we actually sold 43 fish, so there's a lot more room in the tank, but we also have $300. Our little legendary fish finally grew up. Look what it earns, $233 every 
every day. Because not only is it a legendary, it's a painted legendary. But we're still gonna need some more freshwater friends, so we're gonna spend the money. We still have $281 despite the fact that we just bought all new fish. So we'll just sit back and relax and let these ones grow up now. A few hours later and even more of our 97 fish are grown up. So I need to carefully go back through selling all the useless ones. So after doing that, we're left with $424, which means even more fish. Which we're once again going to force feed until I get what I want. After force feeding a few more generations of fish, we're up to $561 and ready to buy ever more. I really want to work up to these hilarious looking giants. They're like a giant marshmallow, but these cost $8 billion. But we'll get there eventually. We just need to hopefully get lots of legendaries. Speaking of which, we actually did just find another whiptail catfish. I don't think it's painted, but that is going to give me at least $100 per day, so we need this thing to hatch. Plus actually two legendary kois. Uh, these will all take a long time to grow up but once they do, lots of money. A few generations of fish later we have $831 of full tank but we also got a golden common. That only takes 30 minutes to grow if I don't feed it so that's hopefully going to be worth a lot. It also seems to be quite quick so if I'm trying to feed specifically it I can actually force a lot of food into it. It's already a third of the way grown. Okay I already force fed it and it's done. Golden bluegrass guppy. I feel like I had one of these earlier. I had something similar, earning 52 cents a day, which isn't a lot, but it is worth $25 to sell. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I am also managing to collect quite a few legendaries. I even have another painted legendary, so that will be $233 a day once it grows up. We're getting so close to the $1,000 mark that I've got a plan. I'm assuming that some of the fish we could buy with a $1,000 pack are going to be really valuable. So we're going to sell some of our like $5 fish because I feel like pretty soon $12 per day is going to be laughable. It already kind of is. And even some like this, painted rare, those will give me 10 easy dollars. Plus I had like a million of them. We have a few others that are almost ready to go. We have $983 and we're ticking along every moment. It's the moment at least I've been waiting for. We're about to get $1,000 for the first time. I'm very excited about this. $1,000 now. So now we get some new fish to look at. This cost $1,000. I really hope we get a painted legendary out of this. And now we have 10 cents to our name. We did get an epic, so that's actually huge. These are all going to take at least 2 hours, 3 hours, 6 hours, 2 days to grow. At least without my help but aren't they magnificent? We can actually sell them for $25 in baby form, but we paid $1,000 for five, so that would be a poor choice. Many hours later, look how fast our money's going up. We've already earned another $750, so we could almost buy another $1,000 set. This perch earns $42 per day, but it sells for $479. $41 per day is a lot, but $500 now is what we want. Another important new fish is the African butterfly fish earning $1,100 per day but sells for $12.55. I think the other new fish are both the mudskipper and the snakehead, earning $20.59 and $86 respectively. They earn pretty good money, but I think we actually just want to sell them for their uh, value because they're worth a lot. And even a lot of these other fish, uh, fish, especially these flower horns, they can go because they don't really earn enough to justify them being here anymore. At this point, I think anything under $10 per day has got to go because some of these fish make so much more, it would be stupid to have them competing for food. So that puts us down to 24 fish but $2,500. So we bought two more thousand dollar packs of fish. Nothing too exciting there. There is one rare that takes 16 hours and there's another epic that's supposed to take three days. These ones only take an hour so that's really exciting. They'll be done before you know it. To celebrate this exciting occasion we're gonna get a moss ball. $250. Boy that is expensive but isn't it worth it? Now we have something to look at while well, we're force feeding our fish for days on end. While I was sitting here admiring my moss ball, I realized something. Even things like these legendaries aren't really worth it anymore. $14 per day to eat a bunch of my food? Not worth it considering we can grow the other ones much quicker without them here and they'll sell for $500. So even the legendaries have to go. I will keep the African butterfly fish and the painted legendary for $233 because between the two of them, they're really the ones making all of our money anyway. And now look, if we force feed the fish, only there's only like 10 of them to feed. So they're really going to uh, be able to get a lot of food between themselves and they are the most valuable fish we have. This little green one in particular, it's already like 40% of the way grown up and it's going to be worth so much when it does. So this is a good strategy. And I accidentally grew a different fish, so there's a carp. Very common. And the green sunfish finally grew up. 
$14 per day, but more importantly, $468 right now, which I'll take. That means we do it again. And we got another few quick fish and a mud skipper and also an epic. It really only takes a few minutes of force feeding to get these things to grow up. So there's another almost $500 just like that. And we have this green zombie looking fish almost ready to grow up as well. That took literally a few seconds since my last announcement, $500. And we have another one that's ready to pop right about now, a northern pike. Would earn $30 a day or $480 now. Also a walleye popped in the background, I didn't even notice. So there's another $500. Mudskipper's done, $470, that puts us well over $2,000 again. And then we got a perch, $500. We also got a snakehead to pop, $500 more. That means $3,000 worth of new fish. Those are all pretty good because none of them are going to take a super long time, and epic is always appreciated, and more quick fish. This is actually really good because as I force feed them, there's only two useless adults that can steal their food. All the other ones will be growing rapidly. Many hours later, we have a lot of grown up fish, including an axolotl. But sadly, that only makes me $85 a day, so it's gotta go. But all of my epic new fish grew up. Three of them earn me $1,000 a day, but the alligator gar by itself, $3,600 every day. The rest of them, underwhelming. $678, $56 a day isn't bad, but I'll take the $500 now, thanks. I will, however, keep the fire eel because it looks cool and earns me $400 a day. $200 a day is acceptable, but we now have an elite team of fish, and look how quickly our money goes up. So with $7,000, we buy seven more types of fish. And then we hope to get obscenely lucky with some of them, like a new painted epic. That's going to be worth huge amounts. So we'll find out in like two or three months when we come back to this and see what's hatched.